Nobody likes being forced to do things. We like to choose things for ourselves. Thank you very much. What we do when we do needs to be under our own control. And often people have complained that they had to do certain things as children, including going to church or to Sunday school. We didn't have any choice. We were compelled to do these things by our parents, by school or by tradition, some kind of reason other than our own particular free will. On Good Friday, as Jesus is making his way towards Calvary, he stumbles under the cross and the Romans sees a man coming from the country, Simon of Cyrene, and compel him to carry the cross. And so Jesus is in front of him, Simon is carrying the cross behind. Another crowd of followers and the Roman soldiers garrisoning everybody and making sure that they achieve the destination. Simon was probably a Jew who'd come up from North Africa for the Passover. Whether he was of North African descent and uh, different in colour or in culture or in dress, and that was why he stood out in the crowd and why the Romans picked on him, we don't know. He was simply there at the wrong time, or was it the right time? Because there's an interesting little bit of information that the Gospels also give us. He was the father of Alexander and Rufus. Well, he certainly didn't volunteer that information. The indication is that although Simon was compelled to go with Jesus on his journey to the cross, that of his own choice at some point later on, he and his family became followers of Jesus and became involved with the early church. Not everything we're forced to do remains something that is alien to us. Some things we start doing because we have to, we later enjoy in life. And some of us will have had things that we, we did at school that we didn't really like initially, but then we developed a taste for them and now they've become habits and hobbies. Following Jesus can be like that for some people. Not everybody gets into the faith just because they happen to hear and they instantly fall in love with Jesus. And for some who come for reasons, all sorts of ulterior reasons, but not a genuine reason, that can be the starting point in a journey of true faith. This Easter, let's remember that God is sovereign and he works in situations sometimes where Things get out of our control and perhaps we feel victimised and picked on. And yet, down the road, that may be the very circumstance that leads us to faith and a dependency upon God. It was so for Simon. It may have been for you. And it may be for people around us who of their own choice, maybe will never get involved. But something might happen. They have to be in church for this reason or that reason. A wedding, a baptism, a funeral. And there they meet the Lord.